Hello, and welcome to WIT AM, a daily look at world, national, and regional news, as well as sports and campus events and weather. I'm Luke Jansma. Police believe the bitter cold is a factor in the death of a University of Iowa student. Outside on campus office, officers say 18-year-old Gerald Bells from Cedar Rapids was found unresponsive early Wednesday near Halsey Hall. Bells was taken to the hospital where he later died. Classes were canceled yesterday and the wind chill dipped to 51 below zero in Iowa City. The student's father told the media there was no alcohol in Gerald's system. The cause of death remains under investigation. Bells was a pre-med major hoping to become a cardiologist. Another person was killed in Iowa in a weather-related car crash. Three people died in Illinois, and deaths were also recorded in Indiana, Wisconsin, and Nebraska. Temperatures across the Midwest are well below zero because of a polar vortex pulling Arctic air into the area. Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin isn't a fan of canceling school due to the frigid weather gripping much of the nation. Speaking on a Kentucky radio station this week, Bevin remarked that America is getting soft. The Republican later said that he was being slightly facetious. Even so, he also stated that messages are being sent to the young people that when life gets hard, they can just curl up in a warm place and wait it out. NBC meteorologist Al Roker called Governor Bevin a nitwit for those comments. President Trump is publicly calling out his top intelligence officials in a tweet yesterday. Trump called them extremely passive and naive about Iran. Testifying in, the Senate, testifying in the Senate yesterday, the National Intelligence Director and CAA chief contradicted Trump about the threat asse assessments on Iran, North Korea, ISIS, and Russia. Trump said that they should go back to school. Iowa legislators are looking to make some chance, changes to the state's medical marijuana law. One proposal would increase the maximum level of THC in medical cannabis in the state from 3 to 13%. Supporters say higher THC levels help, the, help treat pain and symptoms of cancer, seizures, Crohn's disease, and HIV AIDS. Lawmakers are also hoping to expand the number of qualifying medical conditions for the program. Officials from medical cannabis manufacturer MedFarm, Iowa would like to see the cap on THC lifted and increase the milligrams in patient doses. We'll be right back with a look at your WIT TV weather and campus events. Every day across the country, hundreds of college radio stations take to the air. Broadcasting music and programming that you won't hear anywhere else. College radio changes the lives of those who are involved with it. And can change those who listen to it too. You can support college radio by donating to the College Radio Fund. This fund gives financial grants to college stations that need it the most. And is run by a nonprofit charity called the College Radio Foundation. For more information, please visit collegeradio.org. Welcome back. In other news, Ariana Grande is being mocked for getting a misspelled tattoo. The pop star had Japanese characters inked on the palm of her hand that were supposed to spell out Seven Rings, the name of her latest single. A fan on Twitter pointed out, though, that the characters actually represent a Japanese word that means a small barbecue grill. Grande admitted in a since-deleted tweet that she did leave out some characters because the tattoo hurt and she didn't think she could have lasted much longer. She added that she is a big fan of tiny barbecue grills. Police and the FBI are investigating after discovering a tunnel that appears to lead to a South Florida bank. Permabroke Pines police responded to reports of a sinkhole yesterday when they discovered the tunnel that stretched toward a nearby Chase Bank branch. Local 10 News reports police found a pair of muddy boots, a homemade ladder, a stool, digging tools, and a generator in the tunnel. The entrance to the tunnel was discovered in some nearby woods and was covered by a wooden pallet. On campus, in room W108, there will be a blood drive today. Bring yourselves and your ID to help, to help this American's Red Cross save lives. See Mike Brown if you have any questions. Taking a look at the weather, today, a chance of flurries with a slight chance of snow before 11 a.m. 
Chance of precipitation is 20% and it will be mostly cloudy with a high near 19 degrees. A south southeastern wind will be blowing around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight will be partly cloudy with a low around 7 degrees and more southeastern winds blowing around 5 miles per hour. And on Friday, sunny with a high near 41 and southeast winds from 5 to 15 miles per hour. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. See you tomorrow.